to say yes. Yes to your will and your way. Father, yes to your word that you have placed in our hearts on today. God, we want to thank you openly, Jesus. We thank you openly for our lives. Oh, yes, we thank you openly for our portions of health. We thank you openly for your strength, Jesus, for your strength being shown in each and every one of our lives. Dear God, we want to thank you for brand new mercies. And yes, we want to thank you for brand new graces. We want to thank you for another chance and another choice to make you our all. We want to thank you, Jesus, because you sit at high and you look at low and you're acquainted with each care, each grief, each burden that we bear. And God, as we come before you with thanksgiving in our hearts, Father, we're also coming before you with repentance in our hearts. I'm asking that you shine the, the light on ebony. Never do I want to be before you or your precious people with unclean hands or unclean thoughts or unclean motives. So I ask that you wash me on this hour. But Jesus, the same petition I have for myself, I'm lifting up each and every heart that's under the sound of my voice. I'm asking that you wash us all till we're white as snow. Wash us till we're walking right. Wash us till we're talking right. Wash us till our ways are forever pleasing thee, O Lord. Give us the spirit of you, Lord Jesus, the spirit of God. God, Lord Jesus, the spirit of holiness, the spirit of righteousness, Lord Jesus. I'm asking that you sweep this place, Lord Jesus. Sweep each and every heart and mind that's under the sound of my voice and show yourself strong on this day, Lord Jesus. We're in need of you, Jesus, not just for ourselves, but for our families and our associates. And I'm asking that you move by your power, Lord Jesus. I'm asking that you do what only you can do, Lord Jesus. I'm asking that you bless we, your people, who are calling out to you, Jesus. We're calling out to you because we're in need, Father. We're calling out to you because there's no other name that we can call on where we can be saved. We're calling on you because you are the doctor of doctor. We're calling on you because you are the lawyer of lawyer. We're calling on you because you are the heart fixer and the mind regulator. Breathe upon us on this hour, Jesus. Show yourself strong. Let us so not leave the place the same way they came in. See, if we had unspeakable joy, let the anointing flow from heart to heart, mind to mind. And if we came down over here with the bow down head, I'm asking that you be the lifter of our head. God, I'm asking that you move miraculously in this place, Lord Jesus. Give us fresh eyes so that we can see you, Jesus. Give us fresh mouths so we can speak your holy mind. Lord, give us a fresh revelation of who you have came to be in these last and evil days. I'm asking that you breathe upon us, Jesus. Breathe upon the pastor, Lord Jesus. Breathe upon the first lady. Breathe upon on the ministers, the mothers, Lord Jesus. Breathe upon us all one by one and name by name. Show yourself strong, Father God. Give us a mind stayed on you, Lord Jesus. Let our worries be through because we're in the hands of the almighty God. I said let our worries be through because we're in the hands of the almighty God. Speak to your people and let them know that we're at the right place at the right time to receive the blessings of the almighty God. Help us to know, trust, and believe that the blessings of you, Jesus, they make us rich and add no sorrow. I said, help us to know, trust, and believe that the blessings of the Savior, they make us rich and add no sorrow. Now do what you do, Jesus. I'm asking that you lift up heads. I'm asking that you orchestrate and show yourself strong in every man, woman, boy, and girl heart and mind on this day. And we'll be forever grateful, Jesus. I said, we'll be forever grateful to give you all glory, honor, and praise to your holy name. In the matchless name of Jesus, we go pray. In the matchless name of Jesus, we go believe. And in the matchless name of Jesus, we all shall receive. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Our scripture reading will be found in the book of Colossians. I'm reading out of the Amplified Version of the Bible. I'm reading Colossians 3, 17. And the word of the Lord for the people of God reads this way. Whatever you do, no matter what it is, in word or deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus and in dependence on him. Giving thanks to God, the Father, through him. 
May the Lord bless the readers, the hearers, the doers, and the encouragers of his holy word. Come on, put your hands together, Zion Church. Come on, we can do a little bit better than that. Put your hands together. Let's give God some praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God, you're so good. God, you're so worthy. God, we thank you. We praise you. We worship you this morning. We lift your name on high. Hallelujah. Despite our circumstances, despite what we're going through, and a lot is going on, but we still give you praise through it all. In spite of it all, we give you praise. And in spite of it all, we're going to decide today to tell you yes. Yes to your will. Yes to your way. Yes to whatever you say. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You know this song. Come on, we're going to worship. Hallelujah. This song says, I'll say yes, Lord, yes. I will trust you and obey. Come on, when your spirit speaks to me, with my whole heart, I'll agree. And my answer, it will be yes. Is that your testimony out there? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'll say yes, I'll say yes, Lord, yes, to your will and to your way. I'll say yes, Lord, yes, I will trust you and obey. When your spirit, when your spirit speaks to me, with my whole heart I'll agree. And my answer, and my answer will be yes. Lord, yes. Come on, say, I'll say yes. I'll say yes. Lord. Lord, yes. To your will. To your will and to your way. I'll say yes. Lord, yes. I will trust you and obey. When your spirit, when your spirit speaks to me, speaks to me with my whole heart, I'll agree. And my answer. And my will be yes. Let's take it up. Let's take it up. Oh, I'll say yes, Lord. Lord, yes. To your will. To your will and to your way. I'll say yes. I'll say yes. Lord, yes. I will trust you and obey. When your spirit, when your spirit uh -huh. speaks to me. With my whole heart. With my whole heart. the Lord yesterday. To your will yes to your to will. Your way. Yes to your way. I'll say yes. Lord, yes. I will trust you and obey. When your spirit speaks to me. When your spirit speaks to me. With my whole heart With I'll agree. With my whole heart I'll agree. And my answer will. And my answer will be yes. Lord, yes. Yeah. 
whole heart. In my whole heart, I will be in my hands, and my answer will be yes. Oh, yeah. That's fine. I'll say yes. I'll say yes. Lord, yes. To your will and to your way. I'll say yes. I'll say yes. Lord, I'm yes. going to trust you. I will trust you and obey. When your spirit, when your spirit speaks to me. When your spirit, when your spirit speaks to me. When your spirit speaks to me. When your spirit speaks to me. I'm going to trust and obey when you. Your spirit speaks to I'm me. going to listen to your spirit. When your spirit speaks to me. Whatever your spirit tells when me to do. When your spirit speaks, when your spirit speaks, say when your spirit, when your spirit, 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 call on the spirit. We're calling on your help. We need your help. Say spirit, spirit, spirit. We need your spirit. We need your presence. We need your power. Show up in this place. Show up in this house. Show up in my body. Show up in my mind. Say spirit. 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 We're calling on the spirit. The Holy Spirit. The Holy Ghost. We need your power. We need your presence. We need your anointing. Spirit. Say spirit. 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 When, spirit. when your spirit speaks to me. With my whole heart. In my answer. And my answer will be yes. Lord, yes. Now clap your hands and tell them yes, Lord. Clap your hands and tell them yes, Lord. Yes to your will. Yes to your way. Wherever you tell me to go, I'll go. Whatever you tell me to say, I'll say. Whatever you tell me to do, I'll do. Hallelujah. Will you say yes through your trials? Will you say yes through your sickness? Will you say yes to your disease? Hallelujah. I don't know about you, but I'm making a declaration today that no matter what I go through, no matter what circumstance I face, no matter what trial I have to endure, I, my soul is sold out. Oh, come on, my soul is sold out. You can't buy me, you can't purchase me. My soul is sold out to God. How many out there are sold out to the Lord? Hallelujah, no room, no vacancy. I ain't got room for mess. I ain't got room for your foolishness. I'm on a mission for the Lord. I work for his kingdom. Somebody shout, I'm sold out. Shout it again, say, I'm sold out. If you're sold out, put your hands together. Come on. Come on, you know this song. Come on. Praise him, come on. I am sold out. I am sold out. My mind. My mind is up. I'm sold. I am sold out. Come on, say my mind. My mind is made up. Say right there, come on. I am sold out. I am sold out. Come on, my mind. My mind is made up. I am sold out. I am sold out. My mind is made up. Say who can separate us from the love? Who can separate us from the love of Jesus? Not death. Not death. Nor life. Jesus paid. Jesus paid the price. Now I'm free I from sin. I am sold out. My mind. My mind is paid up. Come on, sing it. I, I am. I am sold out. Come on, say my mind. My mind is paid up. Second verse. I come through the fire, I come through the rain. I come through the fire, I come through the rain. Say, but God, but God, He never left my side. He's my comfort. He's my comfort. You are her. I am sold out. I am sold out. Repeat it. I am sold out. 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 Sold out. Hey, I am sold out. I am sold out. 
me. Whatever it is. And the way the Lord was showing me that about our pastor and things that he did for you, because you can only say what he did for you. But whatever you're doing, Lord, in this season, I don't do it without me. And I wanted the people to stand up. And we was going to take a lap and sing the song. Whatever you're doing in the season, I don't do it without me. If you're healing, ah, oh, shaby, I know. If you're healing in this season, Lord, don't do it without me. If you're passing out blessings, I don't do it without me. I pastor have a light of affliction in his body. And this is what I was thinking, because he wasn't supposed to be here. He messed me up. And I was going to say this side. I wanted you to march around the walls one time. Uh, in this section, mamas, you don't have to do it. To go around this section. And I wanted this to go around this section. And as they was walking, Lord, whatever you're doing in this season, and Lord, we need some healing. Uh, Lord, in this season, we need some healing. Uh, in this season, or we need a miracle. In this season, that whatever you're doing, Lord, uh, don't do it without Zion. Because we need you. We need you to touch our pastor on the bed of language of affliction. So I'm going to ask you, if you would, uh, stand up with me. Uh, whatever you're doing, Lord. Uh, uh, don't do it uh, without us. And I'm asking that you would just go around one time. Hayas of Oshea, Oshea. Hallelujah. 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 One time. Hayas, Lord. Hayas, Lord. Don't do it with We have the faith to believe. We believe God is going to do it. What he said, he's going to do it. Oh, yes, Lord. Don't do, Don't do it. Don't do it without us, Lord. Don't do it without us, Lord. Oh, yes, Lord. Lord. Oh, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Your blessing, Lord. Your blessing, Lord. Oh, yes, Lord. Don't do it without me. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Oh, Lord. Lord. If you're healing, healing Lord. Healing, healing, Lord. This season. Healing, Lord. Don't do heal it, Lord. It without oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, yes, Lord. Don't do it without me. Oh, yes, Lord. 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 Hallelujah. Whatever God is doing in the season that you're in, we ask that the windows of heaven is open, that the floodgates of God's anointing for healing from the inside out. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Woo. Yes. Lord, whatever you're doing, Lord, Whatever you're doing, Lord. Oh, yes, Lord. Don't do it without us. Don't do it without us. Oh, 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you. Ah, yes. Thank you. Ah, yes, Lord. Ah, yes, Lord. Oh, yes, Lord. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, Lord, we believe. We believe. We believe in miracles. Ah, yes, Lord, we believe. Hallelujah, we believe. Don't do it without me. Hallelujah. Oh, don't do it without me. able to do the impossible that our minds can't even wrap or comprehend oh, yes. thank you for messing me up pastor thank you oh, yes Lord I'm gonna ask if my brother would come up and introduce his wife Ah, yes, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. God is good, isn't he? Yes, he is. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Glory. Thank you, Jesus. With permission, listen. Thank you, Jesus. As I was sitting there, I didn't even know, I didn't know what you, you think. What is the theme again? Believe for the, in me. Oh my God. I was sitting there and just as clear as you hearing me right now, I said when I, and when she told me to get up to announce right before you came and said that, uh, listen, we serve a God that can do anything. Now listen to this, that same God that can do anything, if you're a believer, he's in you now. That same spirit, the same faith, the same power is in you now. But the enemy will get in to life just happening. We know sin is in this world. But he will magnify and get you to look more at what's happening to get you to believe that how things is, that your limitless God cannot deliver you from where you're at. And God told me, many of us, many of us, on a consistent basis, we're looking more at the problems that we go through. We meditate, we see them, and they are more real to us than his promises. It's not that God hasn't already delivered, set free, and delivered and did the things. He's already delivered. We aren't receiving what he's already done. And on this day, it is up to you to believe his promises. 
Oh, a promise is only good as the person that is able to fulfill that promise. And we know that he can fulfill every promise. And this is what he said, and I'm not preaching before he said. Every promise that he has said, every prophecy, every word that has been spoken over your life. Jesus said he can't speak them for you. He says you have to enforce his word here on this earth. Yes, I... Oh, Yes, Lord. God said, now listen, listen to what I'm saying. Jesus said, heal the sick, raise the dead. He didn't necessarily say, pray for the sick. So right now, Pastor dear, I speak right now to every, every, any affliction, anything that is coming against your body by the power that Jesus has given unto me. I speak to anything that is not functioning properly right now. Oh, you said you sent your word and it healed. And I thank your father. He has the faith to receive. Healing is already on the inside of him even right now. In my faith, he receives it. He speaks healing. He receives healing. It is his right now. And no devil in hell can come against or contend with the power of the blood of Jesus. By faith, we speak, we declare, we decree healing, victory, anointing, power will resonate. His mind, he will speak healing. He only sees it regardless of how he feels. It don't matter about the doctor report. It don't matter what the doctor said. What did God say? I am healed. I am set free. I am delivered. It is so in the mighty name of Jesus. Receive the woman of God. Hallelujah. Receive it. Glory. 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 Elabo Kosaya. Hallelujah. No shame. Glory, glory, glory. Yes, Lord. We receive it now, God. We receive now, God. We receive now, God. Hallelujah, no shame. Hallelujah, no sheep. Glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I dare y'all to break out in the praise for your pastor. Hallelujah, hallelujah. 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 Y'all let me tell you. If that was my man of God, if that was my leader, and he walked in here, I wasn't expecting him to walk in here. I don't see how y'all can not move in the name of Jesus. Glory. Hallelujah. Woo! Gotcha worthy. Hallelujah. God, we thank you. Hallelujah. We thank you, God. In the name of Jesus, we thank you. Hallelujah, we give you praise. Hallelujah, miracle working power. In the name of Jesus, he's already healed, God. You already did it, God. Now his body to come in line with the healing that you've already made available. In the name of Jesus. Glory. 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 Hubble. Glory. Hittable Shaka. Woo. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory. 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 We honor you today, God. 
for the man of God. We honor you, God. In the name of Jesus. Woo! Hallelujah. We honor you, God. No weapon, no weapon, no weapon, no weapon. No weapon, oh no weapon, oh no weapon, oh my shame. For hallelujah shall prosper no weapon in the name of Jesus. We thank you. Hallelujah. You are Jehovah Rapha. Hallelujah. Our healer. Hallelujah. Lord Shada. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to your name, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Glory. <laughs> God is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all we can ask or think. Hallelujah. According to the power worketh in us in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on, put your hands together one more time. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. You may have your seats, hallelujah. I give honor to God, hallelujah. Head of my life in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Yes, yes. Hallelujah. <laughs> Woo! Liberty, freedom, hallelujah body being healed even right now in the name of Jesus come on he's doing what healed people do healed people do what healed people do he's doing things uh huh sick people act sick and do sick things but healed people do things that they couldn't do before. He's doing things what he's doing before. It don't matter what it feels like. Thank you, Jesus. Hey, glory to your name. Heal. Every. Hey, glory. Oh, glory. Yeah. It's done. It don't matter how you feel. I'm still here. It don't matter what the doctor reports. I'm agreeing with what God says. God says I'm healed, I'm healed. God says I'm delivered, I'm delivered. Hey, thank you, Jesus. I choose to agree. I choose to agree. I choose to agree with him. Thank you, Jesus. I choose to speak. Jesus said, I only say what I hear my father say. Jesus said, I only do what I see my father do. Thank you, Jesus. Here. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. And always remember, this is for us. The Bible says we walk by feelings, right? Does the Bible say we walk by feelings? So if I feel like I'm not healed, am I healed? If I feel like I'm not healed, am I healed? Just because I don't feel like it, it don't mean that it ain't true. See, the enemy will work with your feelings. Yeah.
it don't matter how you feel. We don't walk by feelings. The just, it, it's not a suggestion. The just shall live. Shall. It's not an option. Woo! It's not an option. Yeah. Shout out both swords. Woo! Yeah. Shall. Yeah, my soul. You don't have an option. It's not a suggestion. Yeah, shout out most soul. Shall live by faith. It's okay to praise them, y'all. It's okay, hallelujah, to give God praise, hallelujah. He inhabits the praises, hallelujah, of his people. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah. I don't care what the program says right about this moment. It is okay to give God some praise. It's okay to magnify him. It's okay to lift him up. It's okay to glorify him. Because if it had not been for the Lord on my side, where would I be? Where would you be? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Some of us would still be cracked out. Some of us would still be drunk. Some of us would still be in the clubs. Hallelujah. Some of us, in the name of Jesus, would have been dead. But God. He came to my rescue. I don't know what he means to you, but he is my everything. Hallelujah. When nobody was there, it was God that stepped into the room. In the name of Jesus, when you try to find somebody to come and help, and there ain't nobody that could help you because you were sinking deep in sin, far from the peaceful shore, very deeply stained within, sinking to rise no more, but the master, he heard my despairing cry from the waters he lifted me now safe am i because it was his love Woo! nobody could do but jesus nobody could save me but god hallelujah you talking about your pastor this whole atmosphere is all messed up right now in a good way hallelujah this water is so troubled right now i dare you to just jump in in the name of jesus for whatever it is that you need i'm sorry y'all the shoes gotta come off now whatever it is that you need i dare you to jump in now because this water is troubled yeah i got stuff prepared i got stuff written but this water is troubled right now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory. Glory. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Woo! Hallelujah! 
Glory! Hallelujah! My God! My God! In the name of Jesus! He healed ten! But one came back! Are you that one? That came back to tell the Lord thank you! Are you the one? that came back to give him praise, to honor him, to glorify him. Woo! Yeah, God. Do it, God. Do it for her. For Vanetta, God, do it now, God. Woo! Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Thank you, Jesus. Glory, 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 glory. Glory, 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 glory. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. I hear you, God. Yes. I hear you, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Yes. Praise him, brother. Praise him. Hallelujah. Praise him. Praise him. Hallelujah. Praise him. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. My God. Oh. Woo. Thank you, Lord. Woo. <laughs> Woo. We serve amazing God he is an amazing God hallelujah I thank him for being here today hallelujah I'm gonna try to get this out of the way I'm on an assignment this morning hallelujah and I'm gonna do what God told me to do and how he told me to do it hallelujah it may look different than what you're used to but that's how God deals with me. Hallelujah. And things that even sometimes when he gives it to me, I'm like, huh? You want me to do what? Uh, okay. In the name of Jesus. But I thank God for being here. It's an honor and a privilege to be before you on today. I don't take this lightly. In the name of Jesus, I give honor to the man of God. Hallelujah. Pastor Deary and Lady Deary. Hallelujah. I give honor to them. Hallelujah. It was a blessing to see him in the house today. Hallelujah. It is such a good thing to be on God's side. <laughs> I wouldn't have it no other way. Hallelujah. But to be on this side. And I almost hate I waited so long. Hallelujah. Even though I've been walking this for over 20 years, even those years that came before, like, wait a minute, what was happening, Veronica? You wanted to do your own thing because you thought you was grown enough to do it. But God, hallelujah. He still came to my grave site and he said, Veronica, come forth. Thank you, Lord. So I give him praise and I honor him. I praise the Lord for all of you being in the house of God on today. You could be anywhere else, hallelujah, but you chose. You made a decision to be in the house today. Hallelujah. Some, some of the kids say, mama drug us to church. I'm so thankful that she did. Hallelujah. We were made to go to church. I'm so thankful that I was made to go to church. I didn't live in mama's house in 15 and 16. God, I don't know why I'm saying this, but it's going to come out anyhow. My child didn't get to lay in the bed while I'm at the church house. As an adult, yeah, I have a grown son that's at home right now. He's 26 years old. I don't drag him anymore because what I'm not going to do is cause him to be a hypocrite. But those underage kids, God, you know where this ain't nowhere in my notes. I don't even know where this is. I made them, but we made them go to church. So y'all parents, keep making them come to church. Hallelujah. Keep, 
It's something that you are, that's their foundation and trust and believe when they get older, they will not forget. They will not forget that foundation, hallelujah. So we give God praise. I, I honor the Lord for my husband that is here on today. I almost wanted to push the mic to him and say, you go ahead and keep it, man of God. You go ahead and keep speaking, hallelujah. But I give him praise for his life on today. I thank him. Last time I was here, I stopped in and I gave a testimony about my son being saved from a tragedy. It could have been, it could have cost him his life, but I'm thankful for my son on today. I'm thankful for my husband. Because I'm going to tell y'all, that enemy is out for the men of God. He's got an all-out attack on the men of God, on our pastors, on our leaders. Hallelujah. Because my husband was hospitalized just on last week. Just on last week, he was in the hospital. Something with his heart and had to have a heart procedure. And I begin to think about my assignment on today. And I had to tell the Lord, whatever, I don't care. Yes, I'll go. Because you're sending me, God. That's the type of faithfulness that God is looking for. Because I couldn't do nothing with John anyway. But I know a God who is a great physician, hallelujah, that all I had to do was say, God, he's in your hands. So I'm, I'm, I'm thankful that he is sitting here today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Wives, these husbands, sometimes they're disobedient to us wives. Can I get some wives to say amen? Amen. I know y'all husbands don't like that, but yeah, y'all disobedient sometimes. And we be telling y'all, do this, don't do this, do this, go here, go see the doctor, go this and go there. And you just sit there for the men just kind of be like, I got this, I got this, I got this. And now you're laying in the hospital and I'm like, God's got this. But we honor God today. I thank you for the man of God that he is, the word that he carries, hallelujah. And, 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 and for being here, thank you for the invite. I praise God for you. I'm going to read some scriptures, but I, I got to get to where the Lord would have me to go. I don't want to keep you here till 3 o'clock. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. So go with me to John chapter 10. Hallelujah. And believe in me. Hallelujah. The scripture that I was given, I'm just going to read that, but then we're going to, I'll read that myself, John 1 and 12. But as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name. Hallelujah. I believe that has been your theme scripture for this year. Amen. But John chapter 10, amen, verses 9 through 11. It says, I am the door. By me, if any enter in, he shall be saved. And shall go in and out and find pasture, which is spiritual security. The thief coming not but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. I am come that they may have life and that they might have it more abundantly. Number 11 says, I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd giving his life for the sheep. Amen. Hallelujah. God, we thank you on today. We honor you, God. We give you praise, God. We thank you for your presence being in this house right now, Lord. We thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah. For healing is already here, God. Breakthroughs are here. Deliverance is here. And even now, God permeate this atmosphere God we thank you Lord God as you infiltrate as you arrest us in the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus have your way in
in this house. Hallelujah, Lord, move me, God, out of the way. I decrease that you increase, God. You get the glory out of this in the name of Jesus. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen, amen. I am not going to go too much into that because what I have to do, as I begin to think about the scripture and I begin to pray and ask God, God, what am I to say to the people at Zion? Give me your word, God, and what am I supposed to do? And God took me to a place where he began to show me when he went to hell. And he snatched the keys. He took the keys from death, hell, and the grave. Hallelujah. And, and, and it says here that he came and he died. Hallelujah. He died that we might have life and life more abundantly. Life more abundantly. Hallelujah. It's that we can have life to the fullest. Life that overflows. That's what he came for. That's what he died for. Oh, but then life happens. Life happens, and then that abundant life seems to go out the window. Because as my husband, he already preached a whole lot. As he already mentioned, we begin to magnify the cares of life. We magnify what we're going through. We magnify what's, uh, what has been done to us. We magnify the offense. We magnify the doctor's report. We magnify what somebody else done did. We magnify our own guilt and our own shame. But today, God came to take those keys that you have. He came to unlock you today. Hear you, God? He came for you to be free today. Because some of us have been holding on to keys. And let me tell you, keys gives us access. What do we do with a key? We either lock or we unlock. But God came to unlock, but he came to take the key from you. Because as long as you hold on to that key, you're going to be able to unlock and lock, unlock and lock. And you're going to hold on to it. God says, it's too heavy for you. That thing is too heavy. And so I came to take the key. I came to deliver you today. I came to make you free today. Hallelujah. You shall no longer be bound by that same thing that you've been carrying for years. Hallelujah. God says if you would allow me to deliver you today, that's exactly what I came to do. Whose report? Are you going to believe? We think about that with, just, with the doctor's report. But are you going to believe what the teacher said about you? What you've been carrying? That I'm not going to be nothing? I'll always be dumb, stupid. I always, I won't have nothing. Because my mama wasn't nothing. And because my daddy wasn't nothing. And so therefore somebody to put in your mind that you ain't going to be nothing. The devil is a liar. I came to serve notice on him today. It's some folks that's going to get unlocked. <laughs> Hallelujah. We know. <laughs> All things work together for the good. Hallelujah. And we know. Sometimes we think about things in our life and we wonder, how is this going to work out for my good? But the Bible says what? Some things? All. 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 That drunken state that you were in years ago is going to work out for your good. Because let me tell you, he called the alcoholic, the drug addict, he used Rahab the prostitute 
in the name of Jesus. See, these are people that he used. Moses was a murderer. David was an adulterer. Come on. And now we feel like we just ain't good enough. Because somebody done put it in our ears. Hallelujah that you can't. When the Bible says I can do all things through Christ which strengthens me. I am the righteousness of God. I am fearfully and wonderfully made in the name of Jesus. I am called out to be called in. And I am set apart for the master's use. I am a peculiar people. I am a royal priesthood. A chosen generation that's the word that we gotta believe we gotta believe that we are the head and not the tail we are above and not beneath we are the lender and not the borrower in the name of Jesus Woo! <laughs> the Bible says these things shall follow them that believe Woo! What's following you? Come on. When you walk into the room, what do they say? Oh, no. Here she come. Oh, I'm going to have to listen to all this complaining. She ain't been delivered yet. All he's going to talk about is what he don't have. What are they saying when you walk into the room? Woo, you want people to begin to give God praise because that's a blessed woman of God. That's an anointed man of God. God, look what you've done and it's marvelous in our eyes. <laughs> Hallelujah. The Bible says that uh, glory hallelujah thank you jesus that he didn't come to condemn but he came to save that which was lost come on it is the devil that condemns us it is the devil that holds that over our heads woman of god you're free man of god you're delivered hallelujah it is the enemy's job to hold us to our past. When God's mercy is renewed day by day, hallelujah, and his grace is sufficient, hallelujah. So I dare you, see, we're going to have to let go of our past. I was holding on to something that Veronica did in her life, hallelujah, and every time that would come up, that I felt like the enemy was bringing up. You know what I do? God, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus. I began to plead the blood of Jesus. It was a part of me that I wanted to forget. Something that I had done. So it was me that did it. It was the sin that I committed. But I wanted to forget it. It was one day, I think last year. Year before this happened, over 20 years ago over 25 years ago and that thought would come to me and I would sit there be like the blood of Jesus no devil you're not getting ready to put my past in my face you're not getting ready to do this devil you're not getting ready to God said wait a minute God said wait a minute did you forget about what I did when you was going through that did you forget that I'm the one that stepped in the room when you wanted to commit suicide did you forget that's where your spiritual maturity came from? That was when you turned around and you stayed with me and you ain't looked back, hallelujah. Did you? So I need you to change your perspective on the past that I brought you out of. Now when it comes to your mind, I just need you to break out in a praise and say, God, I thank you. God, I thank you. God, I thank you. God, I thank you. Because it had not been for you, I'd be dead, sleeping in my grave. But God, you stepped in. You told the devil to get back back up you've done enough you cannot have our life so that's what we're here today for tell the devil back up 
I'm getting rid of this key today, devil. Hallelujah. The Bible says in Matthew 16 and 19, I'm going to read from the Amplified Bible. I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven. And whatever you bind, for being declared to be improper and unlawful on earth, will have already been bound in heaven. And whatsoever you loose, whatever you permit, declare lawful on earth, will have already been loosed in heaven. So today we're going to bind and we're going to loose. Hallelujah. We're going to bind up that broken heart. We're going to bind up that low self-esteem. Hallelujah. We're going to lose peace in your life. Joy, unspeakable joy in the name of Jesus. Okay. Now, I'm done with that part. I gave some keys. Some keys that's been handed out. Because this is how God told me to get he said, I need you to make some keys. And on these keys, I need you to write issues of life on them. Because they're carrying something that's too heavy for them to carry. So I want you to make these keys. And I want to take the keys from them. Hallelujah. Because they can't carry it. Today, I stand in the place of Christ today. I stand. Ah, God. Oh, hallelujah. Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden. Hallelujah. Who take my yoke. Take my yoke upon you. Take my yoke in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I know you can't play. I'm just going to need you to just stay with me, be with me, however you going to be with me. But when God calls you off that organ, I'm going to need you to go over there. Hallelujah. Please, if you can. Hallelujah. Got to remember he had a procedure. Hallelujah. But he's going to be all right. Hallelujah. So the keys I gave out today have different chains on them. And I see... Dad here has one of the keys, and he's walking, rolling around his neck. And I'm just going to come. You don't have to get up. I'll come to you in the name of Jesus. And this key says, hallelujah. I need to take this key from you. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 This key says low self-esteem. I don't know who you are dealing with this, but God says you are fearfully and wonderfully made. You are his daughter. You are his son. And so whoever you are, God is going to carry this key. You're going to have to let that go and know who you are. And whose you are. Your daddy is rich. He He is a good shepherd. Hallelujah. He didn't come for you to be downtrodden and miserable because of what somebody else has done to you. So I want you to elevate your mind, elevate your expectations. Elevate what you and who, oh Jesus, thank you, Lord. Who you hang around with, I'm gonna need you to elevate that too. Hallelujah! Because, baby, all eagles don't run with chickens. If you go soar, you're gonna have to find some eagles that is gonna reach high in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody got broken. I don't know where you are. Somebody got broken. Come on, come on. You got broken, but there's something else on the backside. Ah, he didn't say broken and inadequate. Some 
somebody from a long time ago was broken. You ain't been fixed. You're still broken. You're still shattered in many, please, in many pieces. And because of that, you feel like you're inadequate. Like, I can't do this. You know what? Sometimes we use these things as excuses to move. Not to move, should I say. We'll use this and say, oh, they asked me to do this, but I'm inadequate because I'm too broken. Because I remember as a little girl when my mama wasn't there or when my daddy wasn't there. And so I can't speak the way that she speaks. I can't bring out the word like she brings out the word. So I feel inadequate. God's taking that key today. Come on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I know I'm calling y'all like this, but I still got to pray for some folks trying to stay with the time. In the name of Jesus, somebody has bleeding. Let me tell you about bleeding. This thing here can last a lifetime. What we do with bleeding is we put a band-aid over it. We bandage the bleeding and we keep it. So when that band-aid is soiled, guess what we do? Take it off and put another one on. We don't leave the band-aid off long enough for healing to take place. You know why? Because we expose it. And when we expose it, that's when the pain and the remembrance of what caused the bleeding begins to happen. So what we do is we put a bandage back on because we don't want to take, we don't want to deal with the pain that comes with the bleeding. So therefore today we rip the band-aid off and God takes care of that bleeding. <laughs> Hallelujah. Somebody has guilt and shame. Read your keys. Guilt and shame. Amen. Guilt. Now how many of us, <laughs> I see your hand back there. How many of us have dealt with guilt and shame? You mean to tell me, God, you still want me? of all the stuff that I've done, all the places that I've been, and God is still calling me, but you only go so far because you're dealing with guilt and shame? This is what the enemy tells you. You're guilty. <laughs> Jesus dropped all the charges, amen. He dropped them all. He dropped them all. The next one, doubt. Doubt. Believe his word. We cannot doubt. God's word is his word. His word is his word. We can't get around his word. So when all these things come up, before y'all leave, I got scriptures for every last one of these things, every last one of these keys to give you. Because this right here, uh, double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. All his ways. God, I believe you for this, but I doubt over here. God, I believe you, but I doubt. Oh, God, I believe you, but help my unbelief. Yeah. Amen. Not today. God takes this key. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody has mm, <laughs> rape and molestation. 
rape, and molested. This is the little girl who went through being molested. This is the little girl who cries at night. This is the person that someone took your innocence from you. This is something that you have been carrying. And because you've been carrying this, you can't move forward like you want to because you don't trust nobody. Because of this, you don't trust. Because of this, you don't trust. Because of rape, hallelujah, God may send that husband, but because you don't trust nobody, that husband will pass you by. This is too heavy for anybody to carry. Anybody to carry this. We got women that are older that's still carrying molestation, still carrying being raped, still carrying physical abuse from a loved one from a mom or dad or husband, and you don't trust nobody. You know, God says today is too heavy for you to carry. Give me that and I'll carry it for you. Now this one, a lot of, we, a lot of young people, but I believe a lot of older people too, but they don't admit it. Suicidal thoughts. Suicide. I wanna first tell you, get some help. Get some help. There is a suicide hotline for you to call. Get some help. Hallelujah. Suicide thoughts is real. It's real. It's okay. It's a real thing. And it comes from thinking, I ain't nobody. I ain't nobody because I've messed up. God, I hear you. Hallelujah. Grief. Who got the grief key? Hallelujah. Y'all make some noise. This thing got a little bit too quiet up in here. I, I, I know this thing is, is serious, and I hope y'all taking it all in, because this is what God gave me. But we're going to pray. We're going to get delivered. We're going to get set free. Hallelujah. Chains will be destroyed before you leave this house today. This says grief. The other side says depression. Because grieving can lead you to just that, being depressed. I know when my mom died in 2020, February 25th changed my life. My mom was not sick. She had had a surgery, but she came through that surgery just fine. 12 days after the surgery, my mom was dead. I didn't know what in the world happened. God, what is this? The loss of a parent or your mother is a hole that can never be filled. I had to truly pray for God to be my strength because I had to learn to grieve in a healthy way. It's okay to grieve, but make sure you're grieving in a healthy way. That you're not laying in your bed for days in the dark because you're depressed because now you've lost a loved one. But today, even that grieving is going to take a turn. Is it okay for me to say even the grieving can take a turn? Hallelujah. It's okay to grieve, but it's what you do with your grief. So, I take that too, says God.
You have too much pain. I deal with pain every night when I go to bed. Somebody is saying that. I'm tired of taking pills. I'm tired of taking pills to go to sleep because I'm in too much pain. So I got to take a pill for my pain and I got to take a pill to go to sleep. I got some health issues that I ain't told nobody about. But I'm tired. Nobody sees the tears of this pain that I'm in because I am an evangelist. Because I minister the word of God. I don't want nobody to know that I'm dealing with this pain at night and I'm crying at night. Because I'm called to do a work for God and I am supposed to be believing in his word. But in your home, you are crying because this is too much pain. Death of loved ones, too much pain. My kids ain't acting right, that's a lot of pain. A lot of pain. Did I get insecurity? Insecurity and fear. We are sometimes can be insecure about our future. We fear of what might come up. We fear of what we don't have. Am I going to get the education that I'm supposed to have? Am I secure enough in who I am to be able to walk through doors that are open? Let me tell you, there are some doors that open up to us, but because of our own insecurity, we will not walk in it. God is going to take care of that insecurity today. Give me that. I don't know what I've been through, what I've got through. Do I have drug addiction and alcohol? Come on. Drug addict. Because of the guilt and shame that you carry from being this, you won't move forward when God is calling you to his kingdom. Because you feel like you're not good enough. And God, the only thing I want to do is just sit in the back of the church because that's all I feel like I'm worthy to do. Because I was a drug addict, yes, Lord. And because I was an alcoholic. And sometimes, God, the taste of those things still come back occasionally. So, God, what do I do with this? When I feel this tug that's in me, God, I know that you're calling me, and I know that I have a call on my life, but who's going to believe me, God, because I was a drug addict? God came to your grave, man of God, and he called you forth. Now it's time for you to take off the grave clothes. God came to heal today. That's what he came for. He came to set us free today. Some of these things I was still carrying even myself. But it was too heavy for me to carry, so I had to give it to God. So now, who else has a key? What's your key? My God. Sickness and sexual immorality. That's too heavy. The sickness is too heavy. 
the sexual immorality you're going to be delivered from. I ain't calling you out. God knows where you are. God knows where you are. I didn't come to condemn, neither did he. But he came to save you. Who's ever sitting in front of the computer when nobody is watching. The sexual immorality stops today. Hallelujah. God, I thank you. These things cause this. Sexual immorality causes sickness. Some people have to go through rehabilitation for sexual immorality. I hear you, God. And some have gone through being a drug addict and alcoholism and the 12-step program is good. But God says, all I need you to do is take my one-step program. I need you to trust me and take one step. I need you to trust me. So everybody that's going through anything on these keys, I need you to trust me, says God, and take the one step for your deliverance. Give me your key. I know you got one. Hallelujah. Big one, big one, big one, unforgiveness, and is that the last key, good for, okay, hallelujah, let me take that one first, this one here says, I can't do this, I give up, I'm tired, I don't want to live like this anymore. Giving up causes other things. It stops you. When you get to a point to where you give up, it stops everything. You're not the mother that you need to be. You're not the wife that you need to be. You're not even being what you need to be to yourself because you've given up. I can't take this anymore. I can't do this. I don't want to live like this. God says, I'll take it. It's too heavy for you to carry. It's too heavy. Now let's get back to this unforgiveness. God, thank you. I know it's quiet in here, God. But I believe you're doing something, God. In this atmosphere, even now, God, I believe you're doing exactly what you showed me that you're going to do. Unforgiveness. When somebody offends us, forgiving them is a process. I understand that, but you must forgive. Because unforgiveness gives them the what? They continue to have the control. That offense continues to control your life. You've heard it said that forgiveness is not for the other person. It's for you. Forgiveness frees you. I don't care how long ago it was, you got to forgive. You got to let that go. You can't make it into heaven. You can shout all you want. You can speak in tongues all you want. But if you still carrying unforgiveness, baby, woe unto you. That's carrying unforgiveness. God is saying, that's too heavy for you. You've been carrying this too long. 
give that to me. I am going to take that and carry that for you because I forgave you. Now I need you to forgive them. Could you imagine if God did forgive us? Over and over and over and over and over again, he forgave us. Now today, if you want to be free, put your hands together and give God some praise. Come on. Come on. If you identified with any of these keys, would you mind just standing on your feet? If you identified with any of these keys, can you please stand to your feet in the name of Jesus? Jesse, come here before you leave. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Y'all keep giving God praise. Keep giving God praise. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Now, everybody pretty much can identify with one of these keys that God is now carrying. If you believe that you can be free from this, put your hands together again and give God some praise. Bless the name of the Lord, in the name of Jesus, hallelujah, have your way. Hallelujah, hallelujah, in the name of Jesus, come on. I ain't done because I got to pray for some folks, in the name of Jesus, hallelujah. Because some, God showed me some things. As I'm praying, he showed me some people, hallelujah, that I must pray for. In the name of Jesus, thank you, God. <laughs> hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Glory. Glory. Minister Allen, I was praying for you. You kept coming up. I was listening. Sometimes I have to record when I'm praying so I don't forget the words that God gave me. And I was listening to it on my way here. And I was praying. And God said, you are good enough. A couple weeks ago as I was praying, 
I don't know if you're writing. I don't know if you're writing songs. If you are, God showed me. If you're not, start. But I believe you are. We know who Donald Lawrence is. That man, I don't know if he's saved, but that man can write. And he write according to the Bible. That's the level. But because you got God's spirit on the inside. No longer shall you be in the background. You are Greg Allen good enough, says the Lord. You are good enough. You are good enough. You are man of God good enough. Keep writing. Keep writing. Start submitting your songs. Hallelujah. Write for your own group. Write for your own production. The locals say, you are good enough. Doubt goes out the door. Fear goes out the door. Glory. If y'all believe God, give him praise for the man of God. Hallelujah. He's been carrying something for years and he's been in the background for years, but he must come forth. Hallelujah. He's got to come forth. And I may have had you bring these keys, but it is up to you to let it go. Hallelujah. God ain't coming to snatch and take it. You're going to have to release it. Just as easy as you released it and you gave it to me. God says, I'm coming to your house and I need you to let me go to that place where you retreat, to that place you don't let nobody in, to that place of your tears, to the place of your bleeding, to the place of your brokenness. Hallelujah. You, green jacket, come on. Can I pray for you? <laughs> She's like, wait a minute. Me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, God. 
Do it, God. <laughs> Do it, God. <laughs> Sister Mitchell, you don't have to come, but when you begin to take that tambourine and run around the church, y'all know who mine, where I went to. You know I went to Miriam. You know as they were crossed over and she began to play the tambourine and begin to give God praise. Hallelujah. And you've gone through a lot this past year. Oh, but that praise is yet in you in the name of Jesus. And God has given you a strength like no other. Hallelujah. This ain't what she just does when she comes to the house, but she's in her home giving God praise. God, I thank you for the strength that I have. Glory. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Glory. There's a young lady that I don't see here today. I did think about her, and I'm not sure who she is. I don't know if that's your grandbaby's mother. Hallelujah. That's her. It's somebody else. Hallelujah. When I come next time, I'll remember who she is. But y'all know she's a bright-skinned girl. Hallelujah. And she has a baby. I don't know if it's a boy. I will need to wrap my arms around her. Hallelujah. I thank God for her in the name of Jesus. I've been praying for her in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. There's some men here. We're at Women's Day, but that's all right. Deliverance is for everybody. <sighs> Honey, I need you to grab the man in the 49ers sweatshirt. Bring him up. <laughs> Woo! Mm. I can't sing the song like it's coming to me, but the song is I Surrender All. Can I both see? Uh, all to thee, hallelujah. I surrender all. All that you've been carrying. was following you God surrounded you he kept your mind he kept hallelujah you protected from death hallelujah where the addiction didn't take you out but God kept you in the name of Jesus to call you in to be his man of God to work in his kingdom glory Glory! <laughs> Vanetta? Thank you, Lord. <laughs> what just came to me right before I called you is what about me? Is what I hear. What about me? God has not forgotten you. God kept you from some things that wasn't for you. When you thought it was, God said, no, I need to protect her. 
So I'm going to cause some friction. I'm going to cause some things to happen. Because I got to break this up right here. Because this is not what I have for my daughter. Oh, but as God is preparing what he has for you, and as he is making you into that woman of God, for that man of God. Stay on your face before the Lord. Ah, no, 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 most. Lay in his arms. Let him hold you. When you go through your disappointment periods, let him hold you. All the brokenness and all the disappointments, God says, I'm carrying that for you now. When you leave here today, you're going to give God praise for your past. You ain't even got to say why me. But you're going to say, God, I thank you. Because all things are working together for my good in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to your name, God. Woo. Y'all know sometimes we can step in stuff too soon. Or we can get in stuff that God didn't have. He said, uh uh, I didn't call you to that. Give God praise for the woman of God. Hallelujah. My God. There are some things, some people, hallelujah. I don't know whoever else y'all are. If y'all need prayer, y'all can come up. I will lay hands, agree with you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Even if you need to be saved. We can't stop and say, oh, they didn't ask for anybody to want to be saved. This is for salvation also. Hallelujah. I'm glad. Hallelujah. <laughs> Do it, God. Y'all remember I talked about the band-aids and the bleeding and patching, taking off, putting it back on, taking off and putting it back on. We're exposing every pain in your life for your healing. For your victory, for your breakthrough, all of your disappointments, that little girl in you to be healed. My God, do it now, God. She's free now. Hey, ha, ha, sote, ataba, seek it. Oh, God, it kind of both see. We thank you. We thank you, God. It is your son. Yes, yes. Give it to him. Give it to him fully. Hey. Shanda da ko. Shanda de hey. Koba. Siko. Shede de abas. Oh, God.
songs, one song for young ladies. This is the third time I've sang this song to a young lady. It's really simple. We learned it in Sunday school. As I sing, I'm going to need you to join in with me because you need to know this. And John ain't here to put me in whatever key, so I'm just going to start wherever I'm going to start. Yes, 
Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. I need you and you. Come here. For the Bible tells me so. It's for you and for you too. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me you gotta believe that yes Jesus yes there you go loves me come on y'all sing it for the Bible tells me me so can y'all sing with me yes yes Jesus loves me yes Jesus loves me yes 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 Jesus loves me Woo. for the Bible Stay right here. Y'all keep singing for me, yes? Yeah. Uh -huh. 
Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. You were the other one that kept coming to me. I don't hear you say a whole lot, but there's a whole lot in you. There is an authority <laughs> and a power in you. And you, I'm just going to say what it just, it, 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 it's, it's okay. Not maybe intentionally, but hide behind that organ. You're more than just an organ player. You're more than just an organist. You are a mighty man of God with a whole lot of power up in here. A whole lot of word. Sometimes, mm, I'm just saying what I hear, okay? It's almost like somebody passed me that mic, I got something to say. We know that's what you do, but that's not who you are. That's just something that you do, but that's not who you are. You got word all up in you, and that word's got to come out. God is calling you like it called Gideon. You got to come out of the wine press. <laughs> oh, Jesus. You got folks that you got to lead. Yes, you. I had to ask. I, I was like, okay, I had to call because I know you as Junior, but God, what is his name? 
When I prayed for you, I didn't pray for Junior. I prayed for who you are, your name. So God is calling you, man of God, to come to the front. Stop being behind the organ. You're great at that. But God has got something greater for you to do. Can you do it? Yes, you can. Are you capable? Yes, you are. Has God equipped you? Yes, he has. Has God anointed you? Yes, he has. Has God called you? Yes, he has. It's time for you now to surrender all to him and come forth. It, it, that's from God. He says, I called him from a long time ago. I kid you not, I don't hear you say a whole lot. I, I'm just like, okay, he'll wave and he'll say a few words but I don't when I come to church what I hear is him through the organ I need to hear him on a mic teaching a Sunday school or a Bible class or preaching the word of God whatever it is because it's all up in there and God is beginning to stir up that gift that's on the inside of you that's been laying dormant come forth men of God and take your place in the kingdom of God I'm not going to touch you, but I do want you, if you could just lift your hands. God, I thank you. Receive it now. Receive it now. Receive now. Receive now. Receive now. Receive now. Receive now. The word, the call, the anointing. Receive it now. Elabasoyaka. Stir up the gift, God. That's all in him. Stir it up. Stir. 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 Too many of us sitting on the sidelines. And it's time to come forth. I give God praise. I'm done. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is great and greatly to be praised. I honor God for who he is. Hallelujah. I know this is a little bit later than y'all used to, but I thank you for sticking it out with me. Lady Deary, I love you, girl. If that's okay, if I can say I love you, girl. <laughs> Amen. Thank you for the invitation. I bless the Lord. I am waiting for the testimonies. Y'all send them to me. Let me know that the keys they're not carrying any longer. Let me know that they are free. Let me know that they now can walk and not be in bondage any longer. Hallelujah. Thank you. Y'all pray for Veronica Peavy. Hallelujah. I love y'all so much for receiving me. Thank you in Jesus' name.